then my link has to make So uh, I first of all congratulate all of you for having uh, made it to the Ignite uh, stage. It's always a few, a few people who make it. Uh, uh, the maximum number of uh, participants in the Ignite for all the calls we have had since uh, 2018, we have always only admitted five students to the Ignite because uh, we always want few students and uh, people who really uh, have showed us that they really uh, they really have mastered whatever was in the Explorer session. So we, we were challenged especially for cohort, uh, cohort two. This time it had uh, very outstanding students and uh, uh, even I have a recording of the judges. Uh, we had a meeting and uh, all of them were really, uh, uh, talking about you guys, uh, they failed to check to choose. Uh, I kept on asking them, ah, can you give me the results for, for the participants? And they, they kept on, everyone kept on telling me it's not easy. I need more time. I need more time. So we are so lucky that uh, actually uh, for even other programs we've been having, we, we didn't have such brilliant uh, students. And uh, we really believe that. Uh, uh, even if we have more than five uh, students in the Ignite stage, we can only support five according to the support that is rendered to us. But uh, this time we are going to have more than five and uh, it's not going to be uh, more of, so we are going to be contributing only 40% to your learning and 60% will be by your self-run learning. So it means that you also have to put in your own personal effort and it's not the end. We two students will make it to the launch, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So the launch stage, when you qualify after the ignite, we are also going to have a uh, uh, presentations. Then those who qualify uh, past the to the launch uh, will automatically become members of Macquarie Innovation Society, and uh, you where you will get a chance to interact with the, our innovators and also our partners and attend all the uh, international trainings that we, that we have. So under the launch, you get a, a chance to be in a class which has uh, students from out of the country. And you also get a chance to learn uh, Python. There are languages which uh, are, in the, are a little bit adverse, which are taught in the launch. That's why it's always, uh, one or two students who make it to that, uh, who make it to the launch. So we, but if we, if you really show that uh, like you did for the Ignite, then they may take consider three, three students. So it's not always uh, the society which selects those people. It's always our partners and uh, the partners are the ones who decide the judges. So the judges give the partners the, uh, the, the students that can meet those, uh, uh, the requirements for the launch stage. But it doesn't mean that when you're left out uh, for to, from uh, to the launch, it's the end. So after the Ignite, once you are in Ignite, you will always uh, have a chance to compete in all our activities. You'll always have a chance to participate. We have many activities as we shall be introducing to you from time to time. So just a moment. Yes, Alexander. You send me a hi, send me a hi via WhatsApp, then I'll send it to you. Okay. All right, then, thanks. All right. Just a moment, let me. Someone didn't get a, a link, so let me just send send them a link.
sorry, I'm still uh, getting in touch with some, uh, so some people didn't get, uh, I think they didn't get the email that you really, uh, they registered using uh, a different number. So I'm trying to send them the link right now such that they join the meeting as we, before we proceed. So let me just do that. Uh, where is the link? Okay. Okay, now, uh, sorry if I'm breaking, uh, but uh, you can always tell me if, um, if, you, if I'm not clear throughout the session, so I can, uh, I can maybe pause and try to fix my internet. You know, the, those are the challenges when we are having this online. Each, each situation in life has its own consequences. So while it's uh, more convenient to study online, it also has challenges of uh, uh, internet. Sometimes it's not stable from time to time or maybe from place to place. So uh, particularly my, uh, my uh, where I stay, the internet is not good. But uh, in the coming weeks, we shall be okay because we are going to be returning to office and uh, we shall be working where there is a better internet. So I will not be breaking. Now, uh, I, I was talking now today's intro, let's have uh, first of all, maybe introductions from each of, uh, everyone, I want uh, everyone to just now, we want, this is a group, you are going to grow together uh, as your group, so you need to know each other, uh, you need to know, who, you tell us who you are, your, your school, you can tell us what you really want to build, what you feel like this is one thing I want to build before I become uh, an adult, before I, I make 18, I want to have built this. So don't worry, it doesn't have to be a small thing. It, even if you want to build an aeroplane, we just want to see, to, to hear your aspirations in life and we see whether we can, uh, um, and also you can inform us of any program that you want to learn and we are not learning it such that we can find ways of looking for partners who can help us uh, deliver such a, uh, such a program to, uh, to you guys. So. Let me give a chance you to everyone to just uh, unmute, unmute yourself and just say hi to all of us before we can proceed. So it's a uh, voluntary. So I will maybe, uh, should I just uh, nominate people to start? I will nominate Barnabas to start, then we go to Tendo, uh, Haley, then uh, Michael. I see two Tendos here. So then we shall also go to uh, Leonidas, yes. So you just tell us your best, but I want to know your aspirations. Uh, good morning to everyone. I'm Barnabas, and the, my inspiration, like I have aspirations for my career. I want to like make a, a very good game and like make make so that I can drive windows out of date. Thank You are breaking, I wasn't hearing. I hope everyone up the rest are heard, but maybe it was my internet, but I just heard you are one to be, I didn't hear the, the words which were. Okay. So can I repeat? Yeah, 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 it's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ja, I, I like want to make a very good game and and software that like the, like those of Windows do, like those of like those of Apple and other and other software. Wow, that is brilliant. 
Okay, thank you very much, Barnabas. Let's go to my co-tender, Benjamin. I'm just reading the way they appear here on my screen. So don't you worry if I nominate you for first. Yeah. Um, hello, teacher. Um, my motive to, to be here is to make Bible-based games because mo most of them on, on Google Play, App Store, are not, and so most of them do not build the spirit. So that's my motive. Wow, that's so insp inspiring. So uh, you want to build uh, Bible games for, for everyone or for only children? Everybody. Okay, nice, nice, nice. nice. Let's have, uh, let's have Hayley. Hayley, Hayley, uh, I don't know whether you're hearing me or you're muted. Uh, if you are, you're muted, you please unmute. But if you're not, uh, uh, if you're still having network challenges, maybe we can move on to Tendo Michael, then we shall get back to you. So Tendo Michael K. Um, my inspiration is to build simulator games. What do you mean by simulator games? I beg your pardon. Um, like these games are. Um, let me give an example, like GTA 5. Mm -hmm. Let me give an example, like GTA 5. Okay, 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 I get, I get. So those are what you call uh, simulator games. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, so let's have, uh, let's have, yeah. Yes. Okay, then. Mm. Let's have, so uh, Alexandra, you've just joined in, but we were doing introductions and also telling uh, your friends, what are your aspirations? What do you want to build in life? Uh, why did you come for this coding? Or you came for coding to do what? What do you want to build out of this? I, I'm not meaning what you want to build just in one day or one week or one month, but in your life, what do you feel like you want to be remembered for that you built this. So we can have Alexandra come next. Next, then we shall have Haley and uh, Leonidas coming after Alexandra. Just unmute yourself and, and then uh, talk to us. My name is Malamala Alexandra. Um, I'd like to wish all of you a good afternoon. Um, I got my I got my inspiration from my school. Um, I'd like to be remembered for being an innovator. Because in future I want to become a doctor. Thank you. You want to become a doctor? Yes. All right. That's really so cool uh, to hear. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Alexandra. So let's have uh, Hayley. You will excuse me, all of you, if I pronounce your names in a different way. Uh, I beg to be excused for that. So Haley, uh, you can introduce yourself. Then Leonidas, or oh, Leon, if you're ready, please unmute and then uh, tell us uh, what are your aspirations. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think uh, they are not ready. So let's proceed. Now, uh, in today's, uh, today we are doing an orientation. We are going to be telling you about the program and what you have to expect out of this program and what we expect of you then how it's going to be delivered. So without wasting much time, we have a, a few minutes to go. So these are, mm, Oh, I thought it's supposed to be eight. So this list is supposed to have eight people. I don't know, but uh, this is the this is the list uh, which uh, I was provided by the judges for the ignite. Uh, it's supposed to be eight, but I'm seeing twelve. So let me see. We have Cherotich Natasha. We have Ochatum Do Gracias. We have Alexandra Namala. We have uh, Hailey. We have uh, Sentongo Eastin, Leonida Sachoka, we have uh, Michael Tendo, Benjamin, Is Mukisa, we have Lubega Fahad, we have Se Sekayovia, Barnabas, we have uh, Tendo Michael Chinto, we have Muonge Farid, we have Rian uh, Molindo. So these are people who you're going to be collaborating with. Uh, they are going to be your group mate so you're going to be grouped i think uh there are supposed to be two groups you're supposed to have four four uh people uh maybe yeah so whoever you're grouped up with you're not supposed to select your group mate we are the ones to select uh, the people who will be in your group then we are going this is what you have to expect from this program uh you are going to be learning structured structured coding, uh, structuring how to structure your code to make it look a little bit uh, professional. You are going to learn how to paint with purpose, uh, to paint your own sprites, painting your own uh, backdrops with the purpose, not just painting far. Then you will also, we're also going to be expecting uh, you to be critically thinking and reasoning systematically. We shall also be expecting you uh, to learn how to create meaningful stories and animations, uh, create impact-driven projects, projects with purpose, mastering scratch, and uh, being able to also teach. You can follow again. Being able to teach scratch. Then we shall also have uh, we shall also learn how to develop websites <laughs> because in your presentations, if you have seen, uh, if you go to our YouTube channel, you will see the presentation for the Ignite phase of uh, or one, or, 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 all the presentations for our Ignite stage. Everyone presents a website first before presenting their Scratch project. So you are going to be taught how to develop uh, simple basic websites it was not going to be hard for this stage so you will just learn at least how to make a, a simple website uh, to appear and also a website for your project so we shall be now introducing through this ignite you will learn html it's also a programming language and uh, a little bit of css e css is not a, a programming language but it beautifies it makes a, a it's just like we HTML and CSS are, they make the website beautiful, but behind it, the the back end or what we call the functionality is implemented by uh, back end languages like Python, uh, like uh, Java. We are going to learn Python in the launch, so you don't have to worry. Uh, but now for this stage, you'll only learn HTML, Scratch, and CSS. And uh, so I'll just go through. If you have a question, you raise up your hand uh, throughout the, the, my talk. So this is how we are going to be learning them. We are going to be having Zoom classes. 
not with me alone. Uh, so sometimes you may not see me. Sometimes you, uh, the link to coding unlimited. Okay, I'll share that. So you are, because we have a lot of activities going on, this, uh, and you can also apply for all activities. They will never collide in, uh, in time. So sometimes you may, you may get a different facilitator uh, who is not me, but uh, they will also, uh, uh, we shall be, uh, sometimes you'll be seeing me in case I'm, I'm occupied in another class, uh, I will not be meeting you. But uh, we shall be having uh, three days, not every day. So you don't have to worry that you're going to be, it's going to be a lot for you. So you will be having per week on the three days of training and uh, on the two hours for, for those days. Uh, the remaining days you'll be, we shall be giving you research, uh, research coursework and group assignments. So uh, for the days where, when you're not learning, you will be having group assignments, as we told you, we are going to group you. Then you'll be also having some coursework to do, meaning that we can, during that coursework, we can set, for up, set up for you. Uh, the coursework will always, if you want to meet, we have, a, uh, we shall, you'll be having your group meetings via, via Microsoft Teams. Yeah, Microsoft Teams. But uh, for a group which wants Zoom, we shall always give you our Zoom accounts. We have uh, 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 some accounts, uh, several accounts which are premium. So you can always have unlimited, uh, unlimited meetings when you, whenever you want. Uh, but uh, most, most of the kids uh, prefer to use Microsoft Teams via those group discussions. So if you, or you, it's upon your team leader, it's your, you will choose your team leader and the team leader is the one who will be telling us uh, how you want, when you want to have a group meeting and uh, which, uh, which uh, software you want to use for your classes. Then we shall have recorded video tutorials. <laughs> so we are also going to be sending you uh, links to, some of them will be put on our, we have a creative child companion uh, if you have visited our website, uh, which is org, you will be able to see a creative child companion. So you will be given the, uh, I don't know, I'll ask, but you're supposed to be given the logins, uh, they create for you emails, uh, such that you can log in to that, uh, to that uh, companion, and then you access these video tutorials, which uh, are always updated, I think, every week. Then we are also going to be having uh, uh, reading. We are also going to be having <laughs> reading material. We send you PowerPoints. We send you uh, PDFs uh, for, for reading. And we expect you to take your time and understand them. Because as I told you, for us, our role will be 40%. 60% is upon you. The, the, the one who puts in more, just like all of all people who are in the Ignite today, they put in more effort. In cohort uh, one, we had many people, but only three are here with us uh, to the Ignite. So it's upon you to put in your, your effort, your creativity, in order to please the judges. With that. We a background noise. If, if you can kindly mute yourselves, and that would be good for all of us. Thank you. Now, then uh, we shall also having uh, be having research uh, or self study. We shall be giving you some. Uh, okay, we shall be giving you some. Uh, uh, research uh, research assignments for you to, uh, to to gather some information and also to just research to learn more. You can go onto the Scratch. When you go to Scratch, the Scratch website, you can look out for many projects and then you see how they are made. That's what we call research, how those kids are, have done it, 
and there are so many tutorials which we can share with you. You can research on your own by Googling on YouTube, how do I make this? Then you also, that information, when you come with it to a class, then you will be somehow a better person. But research is not mandatory. So it's uh, upon you to take it up. Then we shall also have a speaker series where we are going to be inviting uh, some facilitators to just speak to you. <laughs> they may be children. They may be children who have already worked with us and they are, they are, they are successful somewhere and they are, they are already innovators. We may also bring you people, adults who are passionate about uh, technology to just motivate you, to encourage you and also to get questions. If you want to ask questions, uh, how they are leading their lives in the innovation world. Uh, if you want to maybe to know how someone, because we may be telling you about innovation, but then you don't know how those innovators go to that point of being uh, well-known innovators. So those are also some opportunities that we will get from time to time. They will not be frequent, but uh, once in a while, we shall be having a speaker series. You may be invited to speaker series, which are for also involving other key, uh, maybe being facilitated by our partners uh, who are not here in Uganda. Then you will only require you to have uh, a computer. So unfortunately, uh, during the Ignite, uh, there uh, the are programs that we use that can't work on a phone. They can't work on a tablet those programs especially but they will only those programs when we are doing now websites because it's very hard to build a website on a phone it's going to be difficult but we are finding a way so if you don't have a computer i will want you to maybe send me you know an email or uh, a whatsapp then uh, we'll see but we are trying to find the software the softwares which can uh, help us to do uh, to develop websites using phones or tablets. So I I I have this a solution for that, but it's not yet stable. So if you are, for those who can't access computers, make sure you let me know by the end of today. Uh, by the end of today, you send me an email, send me a WhatsApp, so we know and we plan. We plan ahead. Then, uh, so that's uh, about the requirements. We also ex expect you to, to, to collaborate with us, uh, others. We want you to use a professional language. You be kind. Uh, during this class, we suspend people and uh, we suspend you if you, if you use a, a bad language to your teammate uh if you speak anything which is not in line with innovation uh if you frustrate anyone any of your friend if you if you are insult any of your friends if you don't like uh your friend you have to like uh, for from today if your friends shares their project their project link you have to go and like it so that's a, a, a mandatory for all for all uh Ignite participants. So I expect to, whoever shares their project, I expect to have everyone participating to like their project and maybe comment on their project. So, and you, you have to do it for everyone. Then we also suspend you if, uh, we don't suspend you if you miss a class. Or this is not, uh, so in case you're not, or feeling well in a day, you don't have internet, you don't have to, you can't be suspended for that uh, because the recordings will always be available. <laughs> and you can choose, by the way, not to attend the Zoom lesson and only watch the video. So it's not a must for you to attend the Zoom classes or the speaker series. There is no penalty for dodging, uh, for dodging classes. So, then 
And the only thing we shall penalize you is when you don't complete an assignment. So when you don't complete an assignment, that is uh, an automatic suspension from the class. And also if you don't complete your research, you don't submit your report. We're also going to teach you how to make reports. You will be making weekly reports uh, of what you've done in the, in the week. So I don't know, uh, we are supposed to have a, a group specific for the Ignite uh, stage, but I don't know. I, I just want your suggestions. Should we have it on Hangouts or on WhatsApp? Just type, let's, let's vote, I think. Let, let, let me, if you say we have it on WhatsApp, just type uh, between WhatsApp and Hangouts, just type in the chat. Let's, uh, let's see the, what the majority think uh, this group should be. Well, we shall now maybe to communicate with each other easily. So then le le let's keep on uh, texting in the chat. I see Delgracia saying, sir, are we planning how to make website like our own <coughs> where we can get paid? Uh, we're not going to make a website uh, during the Ignite, which you're going to be paid for, but we are going to teach you how to make websites. So it's upon you when you learn, you can make websites and for people and they pay you. So making a website is expensive and uh, you can make good money if you learn how to make a website. I, I make a lot of money uh, making people for people websites. So if you learn, if you pay attention and learn, and you get the skills, then you may start making your money early, as early as possible. So I see uh, Deo Grasha saying uh, on WhatsApp, Alexandra on WhatsApp, Tendo on WhatsApp, uh, Natasha on WhatsApp. Those are, those are four. We are nine, we are nine here, now eight. Okay, now let's keep on, uh, let's keep them coming. So, also now, the other thing I wanted to highlight before we close uh, close here. So I also want to, before maybe I proceed, do you have any questions uh, uh, from my presentation? Let me, let me get some of your questions. Just raise up your hand if you want to, not even a question. If you have a comment, you have to say anything, just raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. You guys have understood everything. You don't, by the way, this during the Ignite, you guys were so amazing. I, I, I like the confidence. <laughs> uh, the way you pitched, you pitched even better than some of the university students that I've, uh, I've taught, maybe I've worked with. So you really uh, challenge, I, I, I specifically, I, I want to be specific today. Uh, anyway, all of you pitched, they, you are vibrant. So I expect you also during this session, you'll be vibrant. I want that that energy. Eh? Aistin, is Aistin here? Is Barnabas here? Those guys, uh, the, my, the judges were speak, saying that they are so, uh, they were so vibrant and uh, we expect uh, uh, people to be vibrant as well in this class. So yes, Alexandra, you have a question. Uh, please uh, just un unmute yourself. Let me see if uh, I can uh, allow you to unmute. Okay, unmute yourself, then just uh, ask your question. Teacher, are we supposed, are we like expected to learn all of this in these three days? And how long is the program? That's a nice question. So the program is going to go on throughout the whole of August. <laughs> and uh, you're not supposed to learn all this in three days. So that's why, uh, sorry, I missed that. So throughout the whole month, uh, you will be learning per week, three days per week. It may go past, uh, past August, maybe by one week, but it's, uh, it's, it's planned if uh, all the activities we uh, are, are really implemented in time, we are going to finish the whole program in August. 
but then if uh, if the if the activities are more, uh, we may go past August by one week or two. One week, not two. Does that satisfy you, Alexandra? Yes. All right. Do you have, uh, who has any, do we have more questions or uh, you need clarification or maybe you have a comment or you feel like there's, uh, there's something you want to share or something you want to learn from this program, just feel free and let's have a chat. And the other thing, uh, maybe let me show, talk about Saturday. I don't know how many of you qualified for the pitch, the final pitch on Sunday, on Saturday. So for that pitch, uh, those who qualified, you're supposed to either uh, make new projects between today and Saturday or improve your projects. Because uh, if you just take your, the project you presented at the, at the explorer stage, it may not really work for you. And you're supposed to improve your PowerPoints. The only person, uh, according to the judges, the only person who has a, a perfect PowerPoint is uh, Aistin. Uh, the rest, you have to do something about your PowerPoints. And we are going to have a, a PowerPoint. Let me, have, let me do that. Let, let's have a PowerPoint session right now, if you don't mind. I want to- Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Alexandra. Um, which three days of the week will those be? Uh, those days will not be, they are not defined. We shall be communicating. It may be, it, they will not be standard that it's maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but we shall be communicating like uh, on Friday this week, we shall be telling you how many, which days will be training in the next week. You will be getting that information one week, like uh, three days prior. Like on Friday, then you have a, pro a program for the next week. Okay, sure. Uh, so Thank you. Can, we also expect you to let us know about your school program. Uh, everyone should uh, send us uh, an email or a WhatsApp uh, by today telling us about your school program if uh, such that when we uh, announce our program, it doesn't interfere with your, with, with your school classes. So let us know by today, let everyone submit their, their school program. By school program, I mean, what time do you stop your classes every day? And which days do you study such that we also plan accordingly? I see Tendo, Michael Tendo Benjamin, is your hand up to ask a question or to give a comment? Okay. Now, uh, we are going to learn, let me just stop sharing my screen. And uh, I want to teach you how to make good PowerPoints, PowerPoint presentations and how to present. Before I do that, I, I just want to play for you one video. Just give me a moment and uh, let me get this. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, can everyone see my screen, which has a video? Yes. Okay, then just yeah. let's take a moment and listen. 
I want you to listen to this girl and I want I don't want you to hear her words, but I just want you to see how she moves her body and uh, how she speaks to people. Then uh, before we shall start now looking at how to make the PowerPoint. So I want you to improve on when you are presenting, you have to uh, to tell a story. I want you to try to learn how to tell a story. We shall be learning those things, I think, uh, during the Ignite. But uh, for this for this particular session, I want you to be different while you're pitching. That's why I, I wanted to share this. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mailing Parish, and I go to PS20. And it is an honor to be here today. Um, I would like to talk about our wonderful student leader program. Student leaders is, I don't like to call it a program. I like to call it a family because it's a program where we all get together and we learn about each other every single day more and more. Um, student leaders, we don't teach people how to be leaders because everyone is already a leader inside themselves. We help people find the leader within themselves because we can't teach people to be leaders or else they're following us. They're just, they're copying off of you. <laughs> just copying off of you and we don't want people to copy off of you. Um, in student leaders, we plan events for people who deserve it because we believe that when you do good things in the community we celebrate you and it's good to be celebrated because it encourages you to want to work more to want to be more involved in things and every year we go to a breast cancer walk to support those women who are striving for their lives who are fighting for a cure so before the breast cancer walk, we wanted our own t-shirts. So we said, okay, we're gonna become young entrepreneurs and we're gonna have a bake sale. We raised a lot of money for t-shirts for t-shirts for almost over for over a hundred kids in our school. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> and then we and then we had so much leftover money. We donated it for those women and for breast cancer. We donated it to those women. So that was very nice of us. Every month, every month we have, we hold different events and all the student leaders get together and we plan those events. And it's very hard work. And it's not that we're forced to do it. We wake up every morning because we want to do it. We're not forced to do it because people don't have to do it. Um, there's just so much to talk about. Okay. Uh, so, how to be a leader. To be a leader, you have to show your heart of service. If you don't have a heart of service and you're just coming for the good things, you're not a leader at all. You're not a leader. Everybody can be a leader, but you have to show that within yourself first. You just have, you have to show it in order to be a leader. Um, I wake up and I'm facing a problem. And then there's, that, that, there's a little spark telling you to persevere because you know that you're a leader. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bennett. Anyway. <laughs> A leader is always going to persevere because they know that when you see problems in the community or within yourself, you're gonna do something about it because you can't stand there with a, when a problem is going on. So let me go back to talking about the events because I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> um, recently, we had a Valentine's Day feast just to do good things for the entire school because it's time we need a break. So we, everyone had brought in some cake and some, some of their favorite desserts and we all ate and we ate and we gained a lot of weight and we ate and um, <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> and coming up soon, we're going to have a, um, an exercise fair because we know we've cut a lot of 
yeah, during Christmas and Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day, that was a lot. So <laughs> somewhere we are going to do an exercise program and we, oh, I forgot to tell you about power walks. We had all the teachers sign up to do a power walk and we made them sign up because if they didn't, it wasn't going to be pretty. So we had them walk around the schoolyard. I think it was about three miles. So we walked around the schoolyard and we all got so tired. But Ms. Bennett, she just kept saying, let's go, let's go. We got we to gotta lose it. Don't be weak. And we learned that we had to take care of our mind, our body, and our hearts to be healthy. And that's what I learned. I learned how to be a leader throughout this program. Um, every day, um, I'm always taught that I have to do the best that I can. There are some kids who want to follow others and who don't want to believe in themselves. And it's very tragic. And then there's others who tell them that, come on, you got to get up. You got to be a leader. Come on, you know you're a leader inside yourself. Some people, they need a little bit of help because sometimes they're, they don't want to be the best that they can be. But we're here to help you. We're here to help you become the best, the very best that you can be. And that's what Student Leaders is all about. It's just one big happy family. And we see each other grow every single day. Every, we know our flaws. We know our, we know our weaknesses. We know our powers. And it's just wonderful. We, there's kids from all over. And it's not, we learn about everybody. We let, Student Leaders is a place where we can hear your opinion. You talk your opinion, and we'll try our best to make your dream come true. We had a non-gun violence walk for, to support those kids who lost their lives in the Connecticut shooting, and because Martin Luther King Day was coming up. So we had one of the students in my class, um, she said, why don't we have a non-gun violence walk? And we all thought that was such a great idea. So we had our signs and we were protesting around the whole block and we were like, no gun violence, no gun violence. And we have people just staring at us in amazement. And it's wonderful to be, for people to look at us like we're amazing because we are amazing. <laughs> Everyone is amazing, so. That's what I have to say about student leaders. Thank you for your time. Okay, now I, I, I just want you to comment uh, just in one in, in your in one word. How would you define uh, that uh, that girl? According to how she was speaking. Pardon? Now, uh, how do you uh, rate how she yeah. What did you learn from, uh, from her? Yes? She was talking confidently. The way she was talking, she was like as if she was talking the fact. Was that and she, uh, I, I see uh, Delgrasha saying she was confident. Then let's get someone else. Uh, Tendo says, uh, Tendo Benjamin, uh, confident. Uh, what else do you learn from, from her? Hmm, let's get other opinions. Uh, Natasha, what do you learn from, from your friend? That she was confident and serious. Confident and serious. And uh, then let's get Alexandra. What do you say? I said that she was confident and she like was advising people who was actually she was she was advising people who are actually older than her. Uh -huh. so she was nice. Uh, what about you, Haley? What do you think?
also see uh okay muksa benjamin you can unmute yourself uh hayley says uh she was confident uh, i see that she stood up for what was right in the non-gun protest wow 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 yeah okay uh then uh any, any other deo gracious has already told us so, so everyone has said their opinion so now uh so you can always type in the chat your opinion but when you look at this uh this girl and all of you are saying she was why why do you think what 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 aspects or maybe what facts are really what what what, what intersects you with this girl what do you think that is in you that you have seen in this girl or if not if there is nothing then just type in the chat and say we are different people if you have something you share in common then tell us what you share in common with this lady i see that we are both later leaders so uh tendo what makes you a leader why do you think you're a leader because she said herself that everybody is a leader so what makes me a leader one one i am a child of god and the bible says that we are all kings through christ jesus so that's what makes me confident that i am a leader oh wow good and uh so what do you think that is in her that you feel like you admire and you don't have it yet in you she stood up on, on a pulpit and she was talking to grown up people. Which you can't do. Yet. You just presented to all the judges uh, a few days <laughs> ago. Why do you think you can't uh, speak to all the people? No, just, just face to face in the physical. Okay. But don't you think it's worth trying? Mm -hmm. You need at home. Have you yes. ever seen a prayer at home or in church? Have I ever prayed at home? Led a prayer at home or in church? Leading I've, ever led a, I've ever led a prayer at home. Then why can't you speak to mature adults? Because I mean strangers, people who I don't know, and physically. So you find it difficult to speak to strangers actually people you yeah okay all right all right all right so we shall uh we shall see how to uh to help you about that let's get also another opinion uh what do you think that i want a, a someone who is talking to us just unmute yourself and tell us what aspect do you see uh you share with this uh with this girl uh, actually she was uh the the best leader in 2000 in 2018 2019 yeah uh, the best lady in the leaders program so we want you to see according to how she, i don't want you to take maybe her personality but consider the way she speaks i'm talking about this in line to your presentation on uh on uh on, sa on saturday can you go out and be confident like that and then tell a story while she was speaking she was telling a story don't just go to the uh, to the judges you share your powerpoint and you say hello good evening my name is tendo benjamin so next i am from uh, saapolo kagwa primary school next my problem no everyone will be bored don't when you're speaking to people even if it's at home if you're asking for money from mom you have to make her laugh first. If you just walk, 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 come from maybe the playing uh, pitch and you say, "Mom, I need stay. I I need uh, I need one thousand. I want to I want to go and buy uh, some ice cream." She won't even listen to you. She will maybe uh, she may be frustrated, maybe from work. She's tired, and you're telling her about ice cream, which may even call for a slap. But if even if your mom is frustrated, she has fatigue. She's stressed and you go in a funny way, not too funny to again piss her off, but when you saw this lady, she, she was speaking and people were enjoying. Huh? You have to make people first, look at the audience. When I say audience, the people who are uh, maybe in the Zoom call, the people, 
Sorry if I'm breaking. Let me try to transfer my phone. Am I audible now? Am I still breaking? Okay, so if you if 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 I'm breaking, you can just always tell me. So I want you to from today, all participants of the Ignite uh, phase, uh, because now at the end of the pre these presentations, this is now we want to see uh, the presentation maturity. When you're talking to people, these are people, they will not be, the first thing you have to know is that they, you can even turn off your video and they are not seeing, they are not seeing you. And, uh, these people can't do anything to you, even though you miss your presentation. So you just have the confidence. <laughs> uh, the, the, you, you guys, ha you, you heard how uh, uh, this boy called uh, Estin. Actually, Estin, Estin, was, Estin got more marks from presentation, even though uh, his project wasn't uh, so good enough, but his presentation, uh, all the judges told me, were telling me, uh, most of them told me that for, for me, I even don't know what project that boy did, but I still remember the words that he, he spoke. He, so if you also, you have, when you're speaking, you have to be funny. First of all, you have to be funny. Don't be too serious for life to bore people. You have to be uh, confident. By confident, I mean you own. <laughs> By the time you've come, you've been selected <coughs> to talk to these people. They don't know. So you have, you, you have the ability, it, you are, you're now like, you are in the position uh, of the know, and for them, they're in the position of the listen. So because they don't know what you're talking about, no one knows about your project than you do because you're the one who created it. So you have to be, uh, to own it, <laughs> Don't fear and be as if you're presenting to no one because this is just a Zoom call. This is not a physical presentation. You're, you're not supposed to fear people who, they will not even be seeing you. And if you have a problem with the, uh, nervousness, turn off your video when, you pre when you're presenting. It's not a must to have your, your video on, but if you want, you can, if you want, you can put on, when you put on your video, you have to be, when you're presenting with your video on like me, your hands, you have to show body language, you get. You see me, the way I'm talking to you, I'm using my hands, you get. Use body language, use your head, but don't do it uh, so much. Don't uh, throw the whole presentation, throw, throw around hands. If you're emphasizing a point, you can just maybe use your hands, uh, maybe a few seconds, then you talk about your present. That shows that uh, it makes the person listening to you have confidence in you. If you're asking for your mom uh, money and you you are all looking down, your mom will be like, ah, uh, uh, I don't know what he's going to use the money for. He's even not. I think why he's looking down is like his guilt about something, and maybe he's going to use money the money in a in a wrong way. <laughs> but if you look your mom uh, at your mom in the eyes you start elaborating, talking confidently, she will gain trust in you. So that's why you have to, your eyes, when you're presenting, there are some competitions you are going to take, uh, sign you up for, and for them, they require you having your videos on because they want to also assess your body. You have to put your look, uh, make your eyes look straight in the camera of the phone or of the computer, which you're using for presentation. And then you have to use, the body language because it's only this part, this upper part, which will be seen by by the audience. So use it, talk to people, and make sure that uh, you, you don't look at their small uh, small videos on Zoom. But uh, in you, you have to be practicing. So before even a presentation, how many of you practiced before before the present? I I, I liked the the, I, I, I liked all your presentations. You had content, especially uh, uh, Haley. Haley had a lot of content, but he was too serious. Like he was not even funny at all, yet his presentation was cool. Uh, 
I also someone who was uh, uh, who was uh, too serious who was uh, I, I, uh, Barnab Barnabas was was a little bit uh, not uh, okay. He was confident, but he was not funny. I also saw uh, Tendo Michael was a little bit funny, but I'm not saying be funny to laugh anyhow. But you feel free, feel in control. And talk, talk, talk about your innovation. No one can do it. How many kids out there can do what you can do? There are few. So that makes, by the time people have come to listen to you, by the time people have come to see you, to see what you've done, you are like the president. You are like, uh, uh, what is her name? This lady who won the, she's Chemtai. Yeah, Chemtai went and won. She won, and when she comes, she has the right to be proud. I'm not saying you also be proud while presenting, but you have to be now confident that no one can do what you you have done. So you you are talking to people because you you have done it, and they can't do it, and they want to know. So you'll be as if you're teaching them. Me, I don't know a lot, but when I I, I teach, uh, I always teach even uh, people who are older than me. I, I teach people who are younger. I teach all age groups. It's not because uh, I know too much, but it's because I believe in myself. I believe in what I know. And I believe that by the time you come to sign up for my class, uh, especially for uh, the uh, adult people that uh, I, I teach, even if you are maybe a professor and you've signed up for my class, it means that you don't know. And these people, the people you talk to, it's not that they are no, they don't know. It means they don't know that particular. It it can be just maybe a particular topic. Now, for me, I I, I may have specialized in artificial intelligence, and many people don't know about artificial intelligence, but I know. So I have to be in charge. I have to be the one not fearing anyone in the audience. That's you on Saturday. No one knows. Uh, no one knows that game. No one knows what uh, word of God. No one, uh, no one knows. Uh, let me see. What are your games? Uh, spacecraft. No one knows spacecraft. No one knows all those beautiful games. They just they are there to see, and you have to show them that it's not easy to make them. If you want to show someone that it's not easy to be a little bit proud, but not too proud, and be funny, smile. Uh, talk as if you're not scared, eh? uh, even when you're answering the questions. I, you, you, you heard how uh, Einstein was answering his questions. He was even ch challenging, challenging the judges not to ask him more questions. That's what we want. And that's, uh, that's a trick, by the way, to manage some of the judges. You show them that you're too confident and you're ready for any question. Okay, so I don't want to speak too much. I'm just now going to take the last five minutes. We are supposed to stop at four, but we are late. So we are going to stop at 4.15. I want to just teach you how to make a PowerPoint very fast. Uh, so I see, first of all, the question in the chat. Uh, even if the video is off, you can have that feeling of what, what if they are not hearing me? What if? I get uh, disqualified, okay. So the first thing you have to do uh, when you are a leader is to first kill the what if. What if is not for you? What if is for those people who are not confident? What if once, uh, during the preparation, the first thing you have to do is before the presentation, one hour to the presentation, practice, practice even, Practice until the last uh, 30 minutes to maybe 30 minutes to the presentation. Keep on practicing. Once you've practiced, you will be confident. Make sure you, are, you have, uh, you have uh, stored your, your PowerPoint maybe on Drive, such that even though power went, you can still access it. Uh, your game is saved somewhere, or your website, whatever you'll be building, it is already stored somewhere. You prepare that from the PowerPoint, I will just stop and then my, my scratch is also open here. I'll just switch to the scratch. 
not again from PowerPoint, you again take one minute to transfer and people, are, they are getting bored and frustrated. Some of them are now starting to use their phones. Once a judge goes to his phone to type, uh, to go to his WhatsApp while you're presenting, then just know the marks to even forget what you are you had presented. So try it not to lose, uh, to make the audience not lose focus uh, in you. Make them stay engaged. Even when you, during that time, during those seconds when you're transferring from the PowerPoint to the Scratch uh, application, keep on talking, keep on talking, uh, to put the Ayoka story, keep on talking uh, to transition to the, uh, to the Scratch. Don't just keep quiet and let them, uh, and when you're finishing, don't just, uh, uh, blah, 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 and say, yeah, that is it. That's what, so what? You don't have to say that is it when you're fin finishing. You have to have a good, uh, a good start and a good ending. A good ending is a call to action. A call to action is like, uh, my call to action can be, if my game is all about uh, helping children to, uh, to, uh, to stay safe by maybe masking themselves, I say, I may say that, uh, Every child uh, needs to uh, be sensitive about uh, uh, the coronavirus by washing their hands uh, uh, regularly and also covering uh, using a face mask every time. Thank you very much. Join me in, uh, in helping our children understand ways of protecting themselves. You get, join me. Join me in helping children. That's the last statement I'm making. It's it's showing that you're trying to show the judge that uh, you want the judge to be involved in your project. You want the judge to understand that this is a need. This is something which is important to people. You can also end like this. It's, you can say so many children out there are so bored. And what if, uh, if every child can play my game? What if every child can make my game? What if you get, you can leave them with a, a call to action, which is maybe uh, a suggestion or a question. Or you can ask them, what do you think about, uh, eh? well, you get, you just have, uh, you, you have to be a little bit uh, creative in the way you are ending your, your presentation. Uh, uh, Michael Tendo Benjamin says, what concepts are we looking at in the PowerPoint? So in the PowerPoint, let me just uh, share my PowerPoint here. To, show you what we really look out for. First of all, <laughs> let me first share my PowerPoint. Let me share this, let me share my screen. Okay. Now, when I open PowerPoint, let me just open PowerPoint here. So this is my, this is when you open PowerPoint, you will see something like this, which is a little bit boring. And for Zoom presentations, I don't, I don't uh, encourage you to use uh, mostly very, very bright, bright uh, colors like uh, yellow, white is, a, is okay, but I, I wouldn't really consider it. So let me try to make a PowerPoint here. My presentation can have, a, uh, I can have maybe, this is my first, my first page. It can have, you don't have to put words on your first page. It can be a picture which really tells us about your, not really about your project, but it can be maybe a person, a child playing a game, a child, maybe you show a problem, a child bored, you get, it can be maybe if, uh, if, if, if the people who are going to be using your application are maybe patients, you can maybe put a, 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 uh, a, a picture of someone who is maybe, uh, who, is may, who is there struggling because they don't have your application, you get. They are struggling, they are going through something. If it's maybe they are bored, maybe they are not understanding mathematics because they don't have your digital calculator like Haley uh, did. Uh, they are failing, someone is being caned at school. Uh, they are caning that person because she has failed a mathematical calculation. That can be your first page. And 
uh, I don't have pictures, but your picture has to fill the whole. Let me just get a simple picture here and show you. The first thing I will do first is to change. I don't like white. I always use black, black backgrounds. And if you try out black backgrounds, you're really going to like, like them for Zoom presentations. So let me, to change my background, I just right click and then I click format, format background, which is here. Then to format my background, I just change color. Color is always going to come here. I don't know how it appears on your computer, but then you choose black. So my color is black. Now what my word should be, should be, should be white. So I'll come here and maybe insert, uh, I insert a text box for my title. And then I come to change my color to the color of my text to white. And then I will say, this is uh, maybe the name of my project is going to be digital, digital calculator. And also avoid those. I don't want you to have these uh, names which are already there. Digital calculator is not unique. My calculator can be said, I can say calculator you. You get or anything which is unique. Calculator. Uh, maybe calculator you. Eh? So this is my project name. Your name should be unique. It should not be, it can be maybe, it, the way I, I told you about my project, which is called Kawalet. The name is unique. You get, I, I, it's not in English, but someone can understand. I, I use the name which even someone who speaks English can know that this is, does this. This is all about a wallet, you get. I, uh, when you see uh, you, there are also innovations which are, which are out there. And like, for example, Bulamu, Bulamu Go, we have, uh, we have innovations, I think, which I've used, which uh, are in local languages, but even when they're in local languages, you can, you can know what they're about. Safe border is in English, but yes, it's okay to be in English but someone should be able to understand by your unique name, by the uniqueness of your name, even though your name is unique, they should be able to understand at least what, by you should, uh, someone should take five seconds just by uh, reading the name of your project. They should know what the project is all about. You get, so calculator yo, when someone reads calculator yo, they will just know that this is, all about a calculator, even though someone is not in you, is not uh, an African, they will first uh, calculator will tell them maybe it's a calculator. Then I change font. <laughs> don't don't use basic font. Uh, Windows and also Apple give you a variety of good fonts. You can try them out. They are there for you to use. So look at uh, a fancy fancy uh, font. Then use it. Then they. Your subject or your title, when you come to uh, the font size, it should never be less than 30. So the titles should always be above 30. So my title, if the words are, which are not titles, if they're going to be 32, then my title will be 40. And it's okay after putting 40 and maintain, meaning that all your titles will be this, will be. 40, uh, the font size. And when you move this, it has to be in the middle. Your title can be in the middle. If you have decided it to be maybe here and then you put your pictures this side. Let me just get a picture here then I show you. It has to be uniform according to where you have decided that it will be. So do I have any picture? Let me see. Okay, I think I have one here. Get pictures. This one has no background. This one can't work because it's black. So if it's uh, a black picture, I can, you see, uh, even my, anyway, some computers will always give you suggestions of how, so if you see such a design, and this is the topic, this is the topic. Why wouldn't someone want to, want to follow your presentation if you have, you're showing them, you're even showing, challenging them that actually you can do uh, a better PowerPoint than them. So that's it.
So then uh, let me just undo this. And then let me take away, let me just take off this picture a bit. So you, the design, we, we have not yet studied design, but it should be appealing. Someone, you should make someone love to see what you're, what you're really making. Make someone, try to be creative. Creative doesn't only end in your scratch project. We also mean by your presentation, be pre creative while presenting. And how do you make this? Uh, you may see it as magic. I just, how I made that is, I just come here to insert, uh, insert a, a shape, a shape maybe, I, then I choose a circle, which is here. Then I come and draw a circle here. I center it where I want it to be, like here. Then I choose the color, this shape fill, to fill the, uh, the shape. I make it maybe white. I told you how to remove outline in Scratch. So even here to remove outline, you just click on this uh, cache shape outline. Then you click no outline. And then you just come and drag. You first move this to the front by right clicking and then bring to front such that the chair is in front. And then you just put the chair here. Then you don't have to never uh, uh, reduce the side through these uh, these angles because they will make your thing to, your picture to fold uh, to not be uniformly reduced. You just click on it, then come. They, after crop, there are always uh, these uh, uh, coordinates which will always be here. Just click on the reduce uh, through these coordinates by ticking this. This means that uh, they they lock the aspect ratio to remain uniform, and then I can just like that. So because of time, I'm not going to teach a lot, but we are going to be learning ideas uh, every day when we, when we have uh, this training. So you'll also be learning some uh, more skills of how to have uh, uh, this better PowerPoints. So uh, someone saying, what concept, uh, how do we put pictures on PowerPoint? Can I make it in Luganda? Yes, you can make it in Luganda. And uh, the picture, you just click on insert here, insert then picture, and then you locate. After downloading it, you know how to download the pictures. You can download, the pictures have to be clear, or you can take your own pictures. I encourage you to, uh, you, 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 may have, you may be staying, I like uh, to take pictures in the village because they are unique. Uh, they are not these normal pictures which are taken in town. You can just take a picture of uh, any picture by your, yourself, or you download one, or you tell your, uh, your siblings to help take uh, pictures when, or your parent to take for a picture of something when they get to work and then you use it in your, in your project. So I can get a pictures like for example now, uh, let me get one picture here. So this is a picture. <laughs> this is my innovation. Children are using a, uh, 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 me, this is my, the innovate, it's not mine, but uh, the company I work with, they use Kawalet and uh, I can have this as my first page. And now to make this fit, I, let me first delete this. Let me right click this and I duplicate this and I have another PowerPoint here. So I don't need the chair now. And I want to show you how you can put now a picture of a person. So this picture, when I put it here, it will look awkward. It will occupy the whole screen. But if I crop it, you right click on uh, and click on crop or you just uh, double click on it, then crop is going to come here. So let me first charge my computer. So then I click on crop and uh, I just reduce. I want it to be a little bit small. I don't need this other background. And then I click on crop. Then I send, I, I now position, if I put it, because my picture is portrait, if I put it to a uh, be horizontal like this, the picture is not going to be clear. So that's why I want it now to be at the sides. I want it to be at the sides, then my, my title will not be up for this case, it will be at this position where it is. So then I just uh, click on this to make it wide. 
like that. It can be a picture of your project, maybe your, your, the, cover, the cover page. You should also learn how to put cover page on your, uh, on your Scratch project. Don't just say someone on green flag is clicked and the project has already started. Learn how to have a, a background, which is a cover page, or maybe a sprite, which is a cover page, and then uh, before someone can see actually what, your pro what is in your project. So this can be my first picture. And then don't use animation for now. Just have uh, something like this. Don't have a lot of words. I remember there is someone who had a lot, who had a very good project, but he had few marks. The judges said uh, he had few marks because he had a lot of words. People are, don't allow people to waste time uh, reading what you have uh, on your on your slides. Then what you're saying, you have few words if you will forget while presenting write them somewhere on a notebook such that you may be if you forget a point you read it on the paper but don't write it on your powerpoint this is my slide and i can't add any other word someone will know this is uh, my cover page for my presentation then i right click here to have maybe a problem and let me duplicate this and this is now going to be uh, the problem just like the way we say, uh, how does your project help children? So meaning that you're addressing their problem, you get. So you don't have to put again a question here saying how the project helps children. No, we, we give you those questions uh, uh, because we want you to understand what we want to hear from you. But you don't have to keep on again writing the same questions on the screen. How does the project help children? What challenges did I face? No, just be smart enough be creative have this one being problem then have another one and just say don't even say my challenges just say maybe challenges that's all and the rest is spoken by you don't put them on the screen practice from today don't memorize don't cram but just practice when you practice speaking your before a presentation you will have those things in your head what you're going to speak about and it's always okay many people fail to remember even me i always present to people and i forget but i have my note my notebook where i write my pitch what, what i'm going to speak about i write some notes so that's it i don't want to waste much of your time let me just stop there but uh, uh maybe the last thing i will do is to also show you let me right click this and i show how you can now have another design. So for example, let me add, let me add another shape, which is maybe, uh, let me add, uh, which one works? Let me add the circle. When I add a circle, it's going to be something like this. And then I will change maybe the color to white. I don't want an outline. And let me just now just increase this to this. Then I just extend it at the extreme end like this. Sorry. Like this. And that's my design. When I click present, when I click present, I'm sure you're going to see something really. This is how uh, no one will know that this was a circle, as you can see. No one will know that this is a circle, but they will always see something very, uh, very interesting. They, they will know. The judge will give you marks of uh, creativity by just how you make your designs. And this is a very simple thing you can do. You can use shapes, mix up shapes. Don't overdo it, but just uh, be a little bit, uh, just create some uniqueness in your slides. Let them be different from others. Just something like this will, uh, we help someone to, to really get interested in what you're talking about. So let me take some questions. That's it. I, I wanted to share about PowerPoints and I will wish. So tomorrow we are not going to have a session because we are allowing you to prepare for Saturday for people who are going to present on Saturday. And you can invite many friends, uh, your friends to come and vote for you, for those who will be participating. And those who didn't qualify for the, uh, for the competition, we shall always have competitions every month. Every month we decide the best innovator of that month. So you'll always get another chance, but you can join in and see how 
uh, how people present at, at those competitions and how which kind of questions are asked. And also you can invite uh, some of your friends to apply for our next cohort for beginners. We really want to have uh, many of the children out there to get the skill. Like you saw the lady was telling us, she, all of you are saying she's generous. What she, she learned leadership and she wants to teach others. So you can also teach your friends, your neighbors at home. If you can't teach them, then uh, give them the link. We have uh, the scratch trainings are free. They are not, it's only machine learning, which is uh, only 50,000 shillings, which is also not expensive. So you can always let them know uh, about the free programs and also the uh, those uh, other machine learning programs. And then they sign up and when all your neighborhood, when all your friends know something, then you can team up and develop something bigger. Don't just be mean and say, I only want to be the one who is celebrated at school that I'm not the one. I like, I, I think the, the first participant I, uh, of, uh, from Namiliango College uh, was so generous. We had only one person from Namiliango College in our first cohort previously, but we saw that many of the many participants came in the other cohorts uh, from Namiliango College, meaning that the first participant was generous he wanted the, the classmates, he wanted the, the schoolmates to learn. And that's why we celebrate that person. So you have to be uh, like that person. I think I forgot his name, but uh, maybe one day uh, we, shall, we shall say his name. So also you share with your, with your schoolmates, share with your classmates, let them learn, teach them. If you can teach them, just uh, teach them. Let them, let them also learn because we can't train everyone in the country. We can't train everyone around Africa, but when we train you, you can also train them. So I see uh, Ben eh, Delgracia saying it's, yeah, yeah, it should be, it should be Delgracia's, yes, I, 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 saw, I saw that. So we, we, we really have to applaud him because he's doing a very good job to, first of all, we also, by the way, our organization gets support when we have uh, the people who are supporting us, they can't support us if we are training few children. So we also happy when you, you guys share around and we have many kids uh, signing up for the activities and also the impact because our role is to uh, create a difference within, uh, uh, a, within uh, a, a limited time. And uh, to do that, we need you to also share the, the activities and also to teach. When we teach you and you teach others, we are adding on the number of people who know, uh, who are innovative, and that's what we really want. So let's, uh, you are going to be, you will be teamed up, I think, after the presentation on Saturday. So let me get other, another question. Ask me, ask me now, uh, when is cohort three? Cohort three is starting on Sunday. Cohort three will only be happening uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. So for people who have classes throughout the day, uh, they can also apply for cohort three. And uh, co 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 it's also going to be, it will be on weekends, uh, but it will, uh, uh, it will take place for like three weekends. Those are six days. Then we are also going to have cohort four coming after cohort three. And uh, so people from cohort three and cohort four will compete to have also another Ignite another Ignite class for them. So let me get another question. All right, so if we don't have questions, so uh, those of you who are participating uh, in, the, in the finals, if you, have, if you need more support, more mentorship, you just raise me uh through email or through whatsapp then we can organize another session tomorrow if you have any question try to make better gay better uh, by the way if you most of you are were just making games but people are looking at applications which can help in your life you can make them i like uh uh Hayley. Hayley made the calculator he was different from the rest and also uh, uh this uh, the, the one who made uh, uh, who made word of God, yes, something you're creating. It's yes, it's a game, but you're adding in value. So you also try to add 
if it's uh, an application, if it's a game, let it be having some aspect of health. Uh, it can be maybe a health application, an educational app, but people are play, learning in a playful way. Then we see how, what will happen to those that won't make it in the finals. What do you mean by not make it in the finals? People who are not going to the finals are still, uh, uh, there are other uh, programs which they have been attached to. Uh, some of the people who are here today are not in the finals, but they have made it to the Ignite stage. Some people who are not uh, in the finals have been also assigned to other programs which are not Ignite, but they are also going to lead them to the Ignite stage. So Michael says, why does my name appear on Coding Unlimited and not in Scratch? On Scratch? If it's on Coding Unlimited, it means that it appears everywhere. Everyone can know, can see your project once you are in the studio. So once you're in the studio, everyone can see your project, but they see that they, why you always want, why always want to easily identify that this child is from uh, this particular class and they speak because uh, students on Scratch speak different languages. And if you're not part of a class, uh, no one, if someone wants to get in touch with you, they will not easily know which language you speak. But the studios have been defined that each studio has a, the name or the, the language which is spoken by the people in that studio. Then someone says, uh, like the finals of Saturday for the people who lose, hey, people who lose on Saturday, the Saturday is not all about uh, progressing to something. No, a Saturday is all about just determining one person who will, who will be recognized, who will be put on our website, who will be shared. Every month we have, it's just like we can see player of the year, you get it. Eh? Uh, you see that Messi was the player of the year, Ronaldo was the player of the year. So it's just, uh, and maybe they get, uh, even the, the gifts are not so much, uh, for now, they are just small, small presents which they get. So it's not something to uh, the, which should worry you if you don't qualify. Uh, what matters is learning. You get, you're going to learn. All I, I, I'm sure that 80% uh, of people who are competing on Saturday are in the Ignite phase, and you're going to learn. And uh, even those who don't get the Ignite stage, they cannot still apply for cohort three and they repeat and then they become, they qualify for, for, for Ignite. They can participate in the mach machine learning and AI is, is even better than uh, all the workshops because you're going to be learning about robotics. So this people can sign up. Just that uh, for the machine learning and AI, we, go, they all, we got only half sponsorship. That's why uh, there is uh, a small charge of 50,000. But those people can also sign up. So it doesn't mean uh, the creative child has a lot of activities which are going to come up. So people who don't make it to the Ignite can always apply. Most of the activities are free. So we should not so feel so bad for people who are not here today. They are still going to benefit and they are still going to make it to the Ignite stage. We don't want people to come to the Ignite stage which they will not handle because it's not going to be easy. I'm telling you, uh, it's not going to be easy for you because you are going to be a little bit advanced. Even some trainers who are going to be coming uh, up, they will be speaking uh, in a little bit an advanced way because they know that you understand uh, the basic concepts. Who am I not? Am I, who am who I am not among? I don't get your question, uh, Michael Tendo. Then uh, Banaba says, "Teacher, only two people shall come out from the finals. No, the finals on Saturday we need only one one winner." What I meant about two people is after to go to the launch. Launch is the last stage of this program. And after people who qualify from the Ignite, uh, the Ignite program, and they are ready to go to the launch, it's always, uh, it, 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 it depends. You will see by the Ignite, uh, by the time uh, Ignite ends, you will see that you really qualify to go to the launch and you don't qualify and you want to repeat the Ignite, to continue with the Ignite, which can be, your Ignite stage can be extended until you, you don't have to repeat the whole of it, but it can just be, uh, you can uh, join the next Ignite and maybe have only one week to master and then uh, do your project to, com to compete to reach the launch. So in the launch, uh, we always require, in the launch stage, you're given a personal mentor and we don't always want to have many 
very many students there. That's why we always select a few students such that we can give them personal. personal. Our team is not so big. We don't have so many trainers. So that's why we can't handle many children in the, in the launch stage. So that's why we said only two to three people. If you, all of you, by the way, it doesn't mean that only two to three, if all of you qualify, don't you see? We, the, in the previous Ignite stages, we have been having only five. But this time around, we have, uh, we have more, more, we have like 10 or eight. I'm not yet sure about the number. This means that, especially the people from the Ignite, from the cohort two, all of them uh, challenged the judges, and the judges said, all these people qualify to go for the Ignite stage. So that's what happens. If by the end of this stage and all of you qualify for the launch, no one will stop you from going to, we, why we, call, we put these competitions is we don't want to strain you. We don't want to teach you things which you won't understand. You can't uh, at that level. And that's why these competitions, these projects help us to understand that this person understands these concepts and they can be able to thrive in the next stage. So thank you very much. Otherwise, let me stop this meeting. Uh